Okay, guys, transformation process for War for Cybertron Kingdom Cheetor. So what we're going to do, and again, please remember this is just the transformation process. The actual review is uploaded separately. We're going to take the head. We're going to carefully turn this around and stick that in there. So half of it is covered by the back. We can then pull out these parts at the waist like so. Leave them open. Separate the animal head like so off that huge tab. And then carefully bring this up and over. Be careful with this tab, extremely careful with it. And then cover up the robot head like so. Right, I do this slightly differently now. It says in the instructions to turn and line them all up. I actually find it much, much easier if once we get this waste part out to literally bring it over ready. And then you can see where you need to turn everything. So this has all got to line up because this is going to be the underbelly. So line this up with that tab there. And then of course, just turn this around as well. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So if I pull this over there, we need to now turn the fist over like so, and it's just going to line up. So same with this side, you're going to hook this into the side there and turn that around at the back. So when you close this up like so, it will close together with them two tabs and you can see that that's lined up with the back of the legs then take the front legs bring them forward take this what was around the waist from both sides click it down take the front leg bring it forward bend it at the knee position the feet how you want to and then with the hind legs very simple bend at the back tuck the robot foot behind and the same with this, so tuck the robot foot behind. That will actually push the leg out as well if you do it that way round. Bend at the back, and that is the alternate mode. You can then, of course, attach the tail or lance into the back there. Perfect. Okay, back to robot mode then. So let's take the tail out. And if we start off with the legs, it's super simple. Fold the legs out and then tuck the beast legs right up. As you do this, it'll push the feet out like so. Same with this, tuck the beast legs up and the feet come out. I'm just gonna turn these well and truly out of the way and then separate the chest like so. Once you've done that, very, very carefully again, because of this bit, bring it around and over the robot head, keep the beast head's mouth wide open. And then you can click this all down into position and that's how I'm gonna be leaving it. So I don't worry about damaging that tab. Separate the arms from the shell. Then you can close this part around the waist underneath. You can bring the head slightly forward, turn it around as well, like so. With regards to the beast legs, turn these down and tuck them away at the back. And then of course, with the arms, turn the forearms around and then turn the fists around to how you want them to be, like so. There we go, and that's it. He will balance when he wants to. There you go. Thanks for watching. Like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.